refugees fleeing insecurity in Sudan's western Darfur wade across the river separating the country from its neighbour Chad. Among those who have arrived here in Kafrun are members of the Sudanese security forces who say they fled their country because they do not have enough supplies or ammunition to fight the paramilitary Rapid Support Forces, or RSF, which they say carried out a deadly attack on their town of Tendete, just across the border. VOA has withheld the policeman's name to protect his safety. He says he decided to flee Sudan in April. What happened is really intense and is impossible to describe. The policeman was killed and the state itself did not have the capacity to react. Other policemen also came across with me in the car and he told other people to get out of Tendelte to Kofrun. Any policeman who met a criminal could not do anything to stop him. He cannot punish or arrest him. VOA spoke to another Sudanese policeman as well as refugee and host community leaders who confirmed 10 or 11 cars full of fleeing Sudanese security forces had crossed the border in the past three weeks. Refugees told VOA that insecurity and lawlessness have rocketed in Darfur since the country's civil war started in mid-April. Aid groups say they fear the instability could spread to Chad and other neighbouring countries. It's a real risk, to be honest, and the regional refugee crisis is only just starting. Um, but this is a hugely um, like vulnerable region. The outflow of people is just one aspect of um, really a destabilizing situation for the whole region that, that Sudan is in some ways in the middle of. Um, so we're, we're very worried. Mohammed Abdul Karim Abde is a community leader in Kafrun, which is hosting thousands of Sudanese refugees. He's less worried about insecurity crossing the border into Chad. We didn't expect it to happen, but the government has assigned policemen here on the borders. Then they brought reinforcements too. We are not afraid of anything and we feel safe. Bakari Elmedni, a Sudan expert at Long Island University, describes how a Sudanese government breakdown could affect the region. I think we are talking about a space of probably half of Europe um, and, and with 500 million people uh, or more. Uh, that could be open to all kinds of uh, lawlessness and, and, and uh, activity of terrorism and all kinds of things. He points out that the RSF is already aligned with rebel groups in Chad and the Central African Republic and that the instability is fertile ground for terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and Islamic State to take root, as in other Sahel countries. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Kufrun, Chad.